Hello, so today we will play around a little bit with Python and Palo Alto XML API. We will create a logs and retrieve logs from the Palo Alto firewall every five minutes looking for suspicious hosts and then block them using the dynamic address group. To set it up, we need to have a lab that have uh, at least two uh, devices. One is the Palo Alto firewall with the management IP address is 10.0.0.4 and the terminal that's running Python is 10.0.0.3. We before retrieving the log, we will have to create a job inside the Palo Alto firewall. The job uh, fundamentally create a group of logs that uh, would have different kind of uh, searching criteria, like uh, from the time and date and what type of logs we will download. Then after that, we will using that job ID to retrieve the logs and from the logs we have to go through the logs which is a, a xml file that uh, we will find the particular logs with admin user login via web from the ip address so after that we're using this ip address and put into the dynamic address group uh, so that we can block the uh, traffic later on so for this setup to work we first have to create uh, dynamic uh, address group inside the Palo Alto firewall the object will have the matching criteria is malicious so later on we will use this tag to insert those IP address in and as you can see here currently the address group does not have any IP address then in the policy when we we will using this dynamic block uh, IP address to put into the dynamic block rule so that additional uh, IP address will be automatically add into this block rule for traffic filtering. So now let's start the uh, script. Uh, the script itself I include uh, one main script and two um, script that I register those function in. In this uh, main script okay i just started the script for us to take a look so as you can see over here that when we retrieve the script uh, uh start the automated response script first thing is uh, it's gonna check the time and minus five minutes and from that uh, five minute it will retrieve all the, uh, create the logs uh, uh, job id and after that retrieve the logs from there the number 427 here is the job id and using that job id we download the script somewhat similar to it and from this uh, logs we download we have to take a look of uh, throughout the log to see is there any log matching the uh, criteria that we have over there so because right now we haven't have any activities to go into the firewall with the HTTP yet. So currently right now we haven't uh, have any IP address to be registered into this address group. So let me create that traffic. I will log into the firewall using plain HTTP and it will alert me uh, using the Python script and it will automatically change the policy. So once we log in into this firewall, in the monitoring tab, we can take a look at the activity and we can see that uh, 1047 we log into the firewall using plain HTTP so because currently right now we run the script um, like in every five minutes so we haven't run the next round yet during that time let me go through with you the script uh, logic so in this automated response API Python script is just actually using uh, the function that I created in the retrieve block API and register the malicious API. In the retrieve block API, first I will create the job, then download the log 
and find the particular lock to add the IP address in. So when I create the logs, I will need to create a log that uh, uh, the jobs that I will create the jobs that uh, five minutes ago until now. So I will download all the logs within that five minutes uh, duration, and it will return the job ID. From the job ID, I will now uh, put into the download logs function, and it will respond to me the uh, XML file format of the logs. It's somewhat that we have seen before, and when we go through the log, we will need to find this particular pattern of user admin log into the web uh, via web from the x dot x dot x dot x uh, using the HTTP, and that is exactly the function of the find HTTP admin. We will use regular expression to find those IP address and put into a list. Uh, we will use this list in register malicious API over here and using uh, that to add into the list of list of those malicious uh, with the malicious stack member of the malicious stack that we have created in the Palto firewall and so we can have that created inside the address group here so because we haven't run the next round yet so I will pause the video and wait for it to happen yeah so after five minutes the script run again as you, you can see this time it run exactly five minutes after the first run and we have been download the logs into our terminal and we have fired uh, the lock. Uh, the job ID is 431 uh, 32 with uh, the IP address that we put into our IP address list is 10.0.0.3, which is uh, the terminal that we initiate the HTTP request from. And so that we have a response in our dynamic. Uh, block IP address function that it, the register into the address group is successful. So now I will go back to the firewall to check whether the IP address is already registered. And yeah, we have the IP address of 10.0.0.3 have been registered into this object and is dynam dynamically will be added into this rule so that it will block the traffic. As you can see that our tutorial is definitely is not something that we will do it in our production and is any uh, usefulness uh, in particular because the the lock that I'm been downloading is actually a system lock and it does not um, change any traffic rule in this policy and um, uh, in uh, production, we uh, do not really do this uh, download link of the logs, uh, which is uh, a huge file. So um, this uh, scenario is actually is just a scenario to play around with and get used to a few functions in Palo Alto Firewall XML API and uh, Python in particular. So thank you very much for watching uh, and see you next time soon.